go in the car? Hi, booger. You go in the car? <laughs> I gotta get ready first, but Charlie has slept in, so I'm kind of late. I know. I gotta hurry up and get ready quick. Guys, excuse this. This is... My bro and I said I keep my room clean, and then for a few days, it's like something blew up in here. I mean, it's just... <laughs> The dishes? It's it. This is beyond. Uh, because I slept in, my eyes, I can't see when I get up. For like 20 minutes, I can't see anything. My eyes just won't stop watering. This is too bright. I literally just, just woke up. Um, am I still zoomed in? Why does my face look so like that our plan is to go around the trail the cabin trail oh my god ew then go to the cottage i think so i have to pack a bag and get ready i took a bath last night and washed my hair but we know how um my hair gets so greasy so i think i'm probably gonna throw curls in it and maybe wear a hat i don't have any dry shampoo i really need to get some uh, me and dad put the camera out yesterday, so that was fun. Um, I didn't film it because it was a shit show for a second. Because he has no patience for anything, and the world's against him. And anyway, take a bag and get ready. So otherwise, dad will be yelling at me that we didn't leave soon enough, but nobody told me what time they wanted to go, and then. Everybody gets mad at me, so. Okay, so it's like, I don't know what time it's. Alexa, what time is it? It's like quarter to one. And um, I had something to eat and I had coffee and. <laughs> Do you wanna come up? And mom and dad already left. Um, I knew this was gonna happen because this is usually how it goes. Um, they make plans to go and do something um, and I can take along and nobody tells me what time they wanna leave. And I didn't get up till like 10 today and then you know I got myself ready and dad's in a rush to get somewhere all the time and then he's in a rush to get home and nothing's enjoyable so. <laughs> no nicer way to put it. That's just how it is and I wasn't gonna deal with the anxiety of that. So they took the car and I cleaned up the kitchen, did uh, a mountain of dishes that weren't even mine and um, packed my bag. I have to take Nan to the grocery store um, and then I'll come back and pack the truck and I'll be on my way. Me and Charlie. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I'm not. Get down. having a fit because he wants to go to bed um i'm here by myself which never happens so i'm taking advantage and playing my music really loud loud enough that wouldn't be allowed my parents are here and having a beer so charlie's having a fit though he wants on the bed Take a minute. <laughs> Hello. Why is it doing that? Um, it looks funny in here because I have lights in my room. Excuse the mess on my dresser, but lights there and lights there. Um, I am back. 
home on the mainland and it's gonna do that weird thing with the lights. I started filling in my eyebrows and I think I like it a lot. Um, it is Sunday and this needs to not do that. Oh my God, why am I so ugly? Um, our washer sounds like it's gonna lift off the ground. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Um, I was gonna film and I didn't and I suck and um, I have footage from before I got my first COVID vaccine and I talk a little bit about that. So I don't know if I'm gonna combine these vlogs or I don't know. I'm trying also to not to make vlogs like 20 minutes long because I know that's annoying. I kind of just live off eggs and bacon or eggs and keto bread every morning and then I don't usually eat lunch and for supper I'll just have like meat and a vegetable and just drink a ton of water throughout the day so I don't know maybe I'm not eating enough which I can't wrap my brain around um my calorie intake for what I'm supposed to have um depending on like the amount of weight I want to lose in a certain time is 1500 calories which to me seems like a lot, but anyway, I've never had a good relationship with food. And so, so far doing keto, it has worked if I stick to it. So my own fault. It starts the end of this week. So that's exciting. And I'll be filming that. But other than that, that's my update and my arm. This is my sore arm. I also need to lift some weights because I need to lose the weight and I need to gain some muscle. I just woke up. I just got out of the shower and it was all I could do to get myself showered. I'm trying to find good lighting but nothing's gonna help. <laughs> nothing's gonna help how atrocious I look in the morning. Um, I just got out of the shower and I don't know if you can tell but my face is really red. Um, I use a little bit too much hot water <laughs> so when I get out my arms are a little blotchy but it just helps me relax um I can't tell if my eyes are blurry or it's the settings on this camera today is they should puppies should be here soon so um, I'm gonna unpack my bag from the cottage and clean my room I gotta do laundry so I'm stripping the bed and um, I've been sleeping without a fitted sheet this is a mattress cover <laughs> um, because the one that matches this these sheets are like four years old so I mean they're fine um, they've lasted me except that fitted sheet and I just haven't gone and gotten one yet but I want to get like a, a whole new set and just have this for the summer because I'm always freezing at night. Like I have two, two um, blankets and then my weighted blanket. This one, this is 15, uh, yeah, 15 pounds, which might sound um, crazy, but it really helps with anxiety and I feel like, um, I don't know, like I'm secure at night or somebody's giving me a hug. I know, sounds like a joy to stay home and not get up and go to work, but it's not. Um, I would change places with somebody that does that if I could. So anyway, that's what I'm doing. And I know it's not that interesting, but I want to finish this vlog. So <laughs> I need something to film. Anyway, I'll check back in with you in a little bit. Hi, guys. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, Brocky. Good morning. I'm gonna put you on the bed, but I gotta strip it first, okay? And then clean up this mess. Okay? For everyone. Good morning. Um, I'm in a lot of pain again. <laughs> what else is new? I'm always. Except this time it's physical pain and not mental pain. At least for right now. Um, I got up, I showered, and whatever I did within between 
getting in the shower and getting dressed. I kinked something right there and just to touch it is like driving a knife in my back. That's as far back as I can tilt my neck. I can go this side, it's still really sore, but to do it that way, <laughs> that's as far as I can tilt my neck. Oh, and going to bend down, like moving my whole like back and shoulders. Whew, just what I need. Um, and of course the dogs are like being cute and cuddly and jumping on me and I'm like, don't touch me, like I'm in so much pain. I also, when I said that I was down 2.2 pounds before I went to the cottage, uh, that was like definitely water weight because <laughs> I weigh the same. Um, I'm also getting very discouraged. I know like you can't expect results right away and it's like my own fault for not being like super, super strict. Like the carb intake I'm allowed to have in a day is 20 grams and I may go over that by five at the m most, but like you have to really do it in order for it to work. So it's just a mental game. It's all anyway so that's the update and i'm gonna go put a magic bag on my shoulder because like i could cry right now it's so so bad and, oh. anyway i'll check back in with you in a little bit i really wish i was staying home today so i could clean my room again because obviously i have a problem and can't keep it clean and clean the house and I don't know if I like this shirt I got it off the auction but the neckline goes up kind of high and I guess I'm breaking out again um, this is the state of my room uh, it's opening day of hunting and we didn't go because dad's not making two trips um, I know buddy these are in your way so we have auction items to pick up so me and dad are going that should be a fun drive um i said i was driving though because i can't handle his driving and um i'm pmsing and crampy and late and we have an appointment in like an hour and we're not even on the road yet so i just want to give that update and i can't take you to film today because i won't have time anyway i'll show you all the stuff i got from the auction when i get back uh, we're on day three, day three of hunting, and Dad is outside peeing, I think. Um, we put more apples out, <clears throat> and we have a big buck on the camera, and I stepped in what I think is fresh bear shit, um, so we're going to check the ship in a minute, and yeah. I'm regretting not taking some toilet paper Kleenex with me because <laughs> um, the way my anxiety works is when I get nervous I feel like I have to and that I saw the bear shit and I'm like nervous now. For sure have a little PTSD from two years ago I think when I was by myself hunting and yeah here's my gun. This is a tour of the blind. Anyway, I'll check back in with you later. Um, I just about had a minor panic attack. Not really, that's a, an exaggeration. Um, but I, excuse the way I look by the way, I just woke up and I'm not gonna dare tell you what time it is. Almost afternoon, but. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, Brock and Sophie are here. Um, so I had my alarm set, this is like the next day. I decided that this vlog is gonna be like bits of October. Um, it's the next day. Uh, we were hunting last night and it was the first deer we saw while we've been there. We, a uh, doe came out. <sighs> I'm out of breath, I just ran up the stairs. 
that's where I'm at in my life. Um, excuse the hair also. Um, I went to turn my camera on to film this and it said no memory card and I remembered yesterday while we were in the blind that dad gave me his memory card to check the trail cam so I took my memory card out and thought I lost it with all my footage so that would have been upsetting but here we are and um, I have my second shot of COVID uh, booked for 12 what time what time is my appointment I just got an email up this morning at like six o'clock and I went in because I thought dad was up but it was mom in the shower and I didn't want him to live without me but he said he wasn't going hunting so anyway I went back to bed and now I'm awake and I'm gonna have my coffee and breakfast and I'm breaking out again um maybe because I stopped the birth control again but I think I'm gonna stay off of it until new year just to see if I notice a difference in how I feel. Um, I don't feel as foggy. So, anyway, that's the plan. We're going hunting this evening. And um, I had a terrible migraine yesterday. Um, and I had taken Tylenol before we left. But when I got into the stand, um, it got really bad. And it was before, it was like in the back of my neck and then up around the base of my head. And then I went over to this side and like it was in my eyes. Um, I've been getting migraines like I would say pretty often. Um, not to, like not compared to people that have them all the time. But I get them at least like two or three times a month. To me seems like a lot. Um, hormonal I guess maybe. Um, anyway so i was almost gonna ask dad to leave the blind early but then that doe came out and we had to wait till she kind of left we didn't want to scare her. and when she came out where she was at like i wouldn't have seen her there I, I heard her come in but i wouldn't have seen her unless she was like flicking her tail which is what i saw so of course you know when you see a deer or whatever you're hunting you get like shaky and jittery and excited and you can't like slow down your breathing and i was like and you know you're shaky and anyway I put the scope on her to make sure oh we also have a spike horn coming in I don't know if I said that um yeah so I had to take another Tylenol last night when I came home and I had the magic actually I put the magic bag on the back of my neck and that helped but then I put it on my eyes to have like weight on my eyes and it made such a difference so I'll know that for next time um, anyway, dad just took Charlie for a walk and I gotta go not look like this to go to my appointment. So <laughs> anyway, that's the update and I'll check back in with you um, this evening, hopefully with the deer, but if not on the way home, so. What do you want to say? Uh, the old timer missed for the first time. <laughs> yeah. In 45 years. Listen. I thought that was coyote. That's not. So. Very sad. Just hope that I missed him. Yeah, we're pretty sure there was no blood. There was nothing. And so. Come back in the morning. <laughs> um, I actually got my second shot today, so I'm going to see if I can book the range and go. I'm wondering if the gun is off. It shouldn't be, but dad's hot broke. Hot broken. My achy breaky heart. I just don't think you understand. It's, if it's the not known part. I know. If I missed them, great. It's the not mm -hmm. known. I, I tell you one thing. He sure didn't take off in a hurry. That was like my bear though, because he was injured. Well. <laughs> Bumped him 
my heart and my achy breaky heart. <laughs> Just, I know it sucks. Big time sucks. But I got the shell. So you can cherish that forever as the day you missed uh, I'm your butt. Use, I'm no use to my gun. Oh, that still needs to go in there. What? I still can't believe I missed it. Well, at least you don't know if you did. Like, for me with the bear, I knew I hit him because of the scream you let out. So that's even like more painful because you know he suffered dying. When he came this way, that deer, I don't know if he went up. <laughs> I can't get it into my pocket. <laughs> you want a sucker for your troubles? Nope. I need enough candy. Yeah, me too. That's why I'm as around as a beached whale. Anyway. Anything else you want to say? Um, I couldn't. I, I couldn't film because me and dad are both in the same blind and I'm kind of set up kind of towards the middle of the window and he's behind me on my left and I saw the buck coming in and went past dad the gun and went like this towards him and then had to get out of his way so when he went to fire I ducked down in my seat like this and just a thing of smoke came out of my gun anyway we did go looking for the deer, but the tracks like ended and there was no blood, so try again tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I gotta, I'm a little dizzy. Um, do I stay home? I feel like I should go. Next swollen this morning. unless I get enough sleep and I didn't sleep at all last night so this should be fun anyway I got my tea if anything I'll just fall asleep next to that and I brought my blanket from my bed so I'm surprised this would even turn on with how cold it is we are just got back to the truck I am frozen we saw nothing, but we found out that the deer dad fired at, he missed and hit the tree, so all is well. Hit the tree in front of him. Yeah. <laughs> and I got my, I think I said this, I got my second shot yesterday, and I was really sore this morning. I didn't know if I was going to come, but I can't wait to go home and take a hot shower and put a magic bag on my shoulder because it's my, like my bones are achy. Anyway, anything you want to say? Next one is coming down. <laughs> um, <laughs> this is just not. Anyway, um, I got, I was going to say my flu shot. I got my second COVID shot. Um, on Thursday so I was severely ill all day Friday um 
we woke up and went hunting really early and I didn't know if I could go because I've kind of like felt like I just got hit by a train like the aching of my muscles was so bad I just like was crying all day yesterday um and I made the mistake of going hunting in the morning when I should have stayed home because I knew I needed to rest um I hang my hats on my deer horns back there I'm not gonna show you my dresser because that's a mess too um anyway yeah I was in a lot of pain I should have taken a naproxen or like Tylenol earlier in the day and I just didn't so I slept most of the day yesterday and um woke up feeling like a new person which was awesome so um yeah I have so much footage just from like October and I haven't I don't even know the last time I posted a vlog it seems like quite a long time ago okay I don't know who keeps doing this but it's really annoying and I shouldn't let on that it's annoying me but somebody will subscribe to my channel and then unsubscribe like I'm at 101 subscribers and then I'll get to 102 and I'll stay there for like two weeks and somebody will unsubscribe so that's annoying whatever um I haven't oh I haven't posted a video in three weeks so yeah I need to post Dad, there's a towel right there. I will use this later. You're a little red in the face. Um, <laughs> yeah. Dad, Dad wears glasses and he couldn't put his uh, shield down on his helmet, so he got all the wind in the water. Anyway, uh, we went to. My uncle's and we had supper and now I'm having a cup of tea and I'm gonna take my contacts out take what little makeup I have left off and go to bed well lay in bed um my neck's been really sore more so under here I'm still convinced I have a lump there but like my lymph nodes are swollen or something just doesn't feel right anyway and I have pain all up the back of the base of my neck and my head I don't know what's wrong anyway um we have all our hunting gear laid out to dry off and yeah it's very strange um without Charlie here. I don't like it. But I'm gonna FaceTime with him. So I washed my hair today and used the hair dryer. And then I wore a hat 
to go hunting and this is what it does. This is how quick my hair gets greasy. If anybody has a solution to that, let me know. Love to know. Anyway. Do you want to say anything? <laughs> I'm going to go throw up now. Okay, good night. <laughs>